Hi, welcome to my channel, Galactic Jamie. So I wanted to start a brand new series for you guys, which I'm titling How to Nail Care. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the basics of nail care and how to do manicures at home. Each week, I'm just gonna do a simple, short and sweet video. So these videos aren't gonna have like me talking about outer space. It's just gonna be strictly nail care how-tos. So let's get to it. So basically this week I wanted to go through and tell you guys what all I have in my nail kit. So this is the bare bones essential minimum items you need to create beautiful and lasting manicures at home. So let's get started. The first item I have in my nail kit is a base coat. Base coat is so important. This is what's gonna help your manicures last. It's gonna provide a smooth base for your polish to go on. So the one I use the most and the one I love is the Orly Bonder base coat. I just think it applies so well and it helps my manicures last a really long time. So most nail brands have base coats, so I'm sure you can find one of any brand. This is just my preference. The next item you need in your nail kit is a top coat. I personally use quick dry top coats because I'm always in a rush, so I need something that's gonna dry quick. And what's awesome about quick dry top coats is not only does that dry quick, but it also helps dry the layers beneath. So the ones I love the best are Orly Second Dry, OPI Rapid Dry, and then Sally Hansen Insta Dry, this is in the red bottle. So these three I really love. There's other ones out there I'm sure that work just as well, but these are the ones I have come to time and time again because they just work the best. Quick dry top coat is really great because it not only dries quickly, but it also dries the layer under the layers underneath quicker. So obviously you don't want to put it on a completely wet nail, but if your nails are taking a little bit longer to dry, this will help dry them quicker. Um, somehow it works that way. I don't know how it works, but I just think it's really cool. And yeah. So definitely need a quick dry top coat in your kit. The next basic you need for your kit is a nail file. I use glass or crystal nail files because you can actually file your nails both ways without hurting your nail. Um, so like you can saw back and forth, which you shouldn't do with a different type of nail file, it's too damaging, but with a crystal and glass nail file, you can do that. Also, they're washable, which is really cool. So like, it's never gonna go bad unless you break it like you're never gonna have an issue with a crystal or glass nail file working i find mine on amazon i'm sure there might be some in stores i don't know i haven't really looked for it in stores because i love the ones i get on amazon you definitely need a glass nail file do not forget this for your kit next you need a cuticle remover instant cuticle remover so i have two right here i have the orally cuticle -cute. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but the Orly cuticle remover and then the Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover. This is the one I use the most. I think it just works really well. You can get this at any store as well. Um, it's in a little blue bottle, but I'm going to do another video and I'm going to show you guys how to use this, but this is definitely a must have for your nail kit. The next item you need in your nail kit is either an orange stick which typically orange sticks are made of wood, but for some reason, this is the only one I could find for this video. Um, but they're typically made of wood or you can also find them made of glass or, you know, plastic like this one, you can find it out of plastic, whatever. You need an orange stick or a cuticle pusher. So this is actually, I actually use a cuticle pusher more than I do an orange stick, but you can find a different tons of different ones of these. Um, I just really like this metal one. I think it just works really well for me. And like I said, with the cuticle remover, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do, how to use both of these items in a different video. So the next must have item for your bare bones essential nail kit is 100% acetone. This stuff, this is way better than any nail polish remover you can find. You need 100% acetone. And I'm gonna do a whole video on how to remove nail polish, especially a tricky nail polish like glitter polish or just difficult to work with, dark polish, whatever. I'm gonna show you how to remove it, but you need this for your kit to be able to do that. Um, you can find this in stores, super cheap. This bottle, six ounces, I found this for a dollar at Walmart. I have a ton of them, I stock up on them because I use them so much. They have big bottles, small bottles, every size in between, but you need 100% acetone. The next item you need in your nail kit is cotton balls. You definitely need cotton balls. 
it's just a necessity. Um, you can find them at any store. They're not expensive, but you need those. The next item you need for your nail kit is a cleanup brush. So I actually use an angled eyeliner brush that I found on Amazon. This is wet and wild. Um, it's only 99 cents on Amazon, or maybe it's a little over a dollar now. I don't know. It's only like a dollar though on Amazon. So it's super cheap. And the reason I use an angled eyeliner brush is I actually like using an angled brush. There's also rounded brushes. Some people prefer those, but I like an angled brush. Um, and the eyeliner brush, the bristles are like thick enough and tight enough together where it actually works really well for a cleanup brush. So this isn't made to be a cleanup brush, but I noticed that it lasts just as long as like an actual cleanup brush. So for 99 cents, you cannot pass this up. Um, but you just have to make sure that the bristles are somewhat hard and they're close together and it's not too big. You don't want a really large brush. It's really difficult to work with a larger brush. You need a tiny brush to really get the best um, cleanup technique, whatever, for this, which I'm going to post another video on how to use this item specifically. Yeah, so you need this for your kit. And last but not least, you need nail polish. Obviously, why else are you here? You know, you need nail polish to paint your nails with. Even if you just start out with one bottle, just go pick your favorite color and bring your bottle home and watch these videos so that you know how to put it on correctly and beautifully and you're going to love it. It's awesome. So if you guys enjoy today's video, please hit the like button. Also comment and let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about, any questions you have. And if you love outer space and nail polish, every single Tuesday I put out a video where I talk about those two topics and it's so fun. So please subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. I hope you all have a stellar week. Bye.